name's Professor Lynn Bianchi. I'm the founder and director of the Great Science Share for Schools and I'm absolutely delighted again to be introducing lots and lots of children across the UK and the world to the Great Science Share for Schools this year. It's just a phenomenal from an idea that I had quite a long time ago to what we see now of children asking, investigating and sharing their scientific questions with new audiences. It's just so powerful. So one of the simplest things that all the children are asked to do in this campaign is to ask a question, investigate it and look at the evidence that they have generated. It is part of the curriculum. We encourage our teachers anywhere across the UK and now internationally to take that little bit of time at this point in the year to think about the questions that the children are bothered about and to use the skills that they've been taught all year round. So use the scientific method, investigate questions, be curious and be bothered about the world around them. The bonus in all of this is the way that we've managed to weave in the issues around climate and sustainability into the questions that the children are asking. So what you'll see in so much of the children's work are their ideas, their innovations and their investigations about how they can make a difference to the world that they will go on and live in over the next few years. So it's fantastic to be here with all these hundreds of kids celebrating the Great Sands Share. And we've just heard that there are over 527,000 kids around the world taking part. This is really important for the future of science and engineering. And do you know what they came up and wanted to know from me? Why is it so important that they should care about the environment and climate? And I said, because you are the future for our planet. What could be more important than that? Today we face some major global challenges and we need to become more sustainable. Getting kids excited about exploring science, which holds some of the answers to some of these challenges that we face, to getting them engaged in understanding and finding the answers to our future is really key to our success. So we're here to um, share our knowledge of science with other children from other schools in Manchester. And uh, so our experiment is all about mushrooms and classifying and identifying living things. I was excited, but I was also a little bit nervous because I was nervous about presenting our work. But I was very excited because I wanted to share the knowledge with everybody else. I've really enjoyed it so far. I love the atmosphere and I love le teaching other people about something that they can bring home and go, yeah. oh, I've learned something today. Yeah, And I, I think I'd really enjoy to share that. It feels really good. Everybody does one subject about something. Everybody goes to every school, they know about nearly everything about science. That could grow our knowledge. It's good for us. It's a really exciting event. It lets lots of people get together and find out what each other's doing and it helps socialise with people that aren't normally social. I think it's really important the values around inclusivity um, are promoted because making sure that every child, regardless of what background, whether diversity or depending on what school they're from, they are participating, they're involved, they are sharing ideas, sharing skills, they're becoming inspired, they are learning new things, and also they are our future scientists. This is our world that we all live in, we all have a part to play, and whether it's large or small, I think helping young people to, to understand that and sharing those values is very, very important. It's been great to see the children getting involved, sharing their learning, their passion, their enthusiasm, and getting involved in lots of investigations that they might not have done in the classroom. This has been the best day of my life in school. 